Welcome to Peck Brothers Off-Road. We've got way too much to do today. I've got to gut this Jeep and take everything and put it in the new Jeep. I'm trying to fix a huge problem that I've been having with my Jeep. And me and Fred are breaking ground on the new Peck Brothers headquarters. What? We got a lot of work to do. Brady was nice enough to let me use his garage again after the mess we made last week. As I was reaching my hand in here to unplug this and the, the windows, yeah, I almost got stung. We're just dealing with nothing but bees around here. But now that we got the crossbar, the seats removed, the doors removed, we can start taking out console, dash. The dash comes out in like four different layers. Pain, we gotta take all the roll cage bars out. This is a big job, but somebody's gotta do it. The big problem that I've been having on my Jeep is it has been losing air in the front passenger side tire for like months. <laughs> it will literally go from 30 PSI to flat in like an hour. It loses a ton of air. So anytime I'm towing it on the trailer, it's losing air. The strap gets loose. Anytime I'm driving it, that tire is always out of balance because it's always low on air. It's just been horrible. So I got to pull my Jeep in, pull this tire off, pull the bead lock ring off of the tire and see if I can get it fixed. I could go on all day about the reasons why we should build a shop. Really the biggest reason is because I haven't been able to pull my truck in my own garage for like a long time. Hopefully this will alleviate that headache. We'll be able to park in there in the winter time. It'll be nice and somewhat warm and we can keep all the Jeep projects, all the spare parts, all probably the shirt and our inventory in this shop as well so you guys can see them get packaged and sent out. That's kind of the plan for this. Um, who knows, maybe even Caleb and Alex might end up living in it. We've got some serious leakage going on with uh, most of our hydraulics. Just about every single orifice leaks on it, but we just keep adding fluid and it seems to work all right. One of the other things that you gotta make sure that you add is diesel. And uh, I just ran out and everybody who owns a diesel knows that uh, you don't run a diesel out of fuels. I just put some in, we have about five gallons in there now, and I gotta try to get this thing started so we can start digging. <laughs> This tractor for all these years has had a couple sticky injectors and it does not want to start. It's the most cold blooded thing you've ever seen. So what we have to do is take starting fluid, open this door up, reach your hand in here and spray it into the air cleaner while you're reaching around here to the key, starting it and then with your foot down here pushing the gas trying to get that fuel to work through those injectors and fire up. If you don't push the gas in this thing, it will not start. And usually it takes a couple of shots of ether to get it going. everything you need to build a closet with some Jeep parts. 
We've got the inner dash, outer dash, console, weather tech, floor mat, steering column, heater core, every, well, everything right here besides the shelves is going in there. Hopefully they bolt up. The wheels I'm running on my Jeep are trail ready bead locks. They're the Gen 1 double bead lock. I got a hold of trail ready and I'm like, hey, I've never seen this design in my life. I, I have no idea how they work. So I ended up getting in touch with the main guy over there at trail ready. And he sent me a new O-ring to throw in the bead locks and see if that will fix the problem. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to get back a hold of them and try and get this thing figured out. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about. The way that this bead lock works, if you can imagine this wheel, the lug nuts are going like this, and you're looking at it from the side, your tire kind of mounts like this. Tread kind of comes up, treads up here, right? And then you got the other on the bottom, comes down just like this, treads down here. So the way that this works is this inner bead, this inner bead lock ring, mounts from here to here and it keeps pressure on both of the inner beads to keep it pressed up against the outer edge of the wheel. That way your bead cannot break and lose air. The problem is, is this outer bead lock ring has an O-ring. It, it slides in between this inner bead lock and in between the wheel and there's an O-ring that rides right here on this flange that makes it so no air can escape out. And that was the O-ring that was bad. Here is what the old O-ring looks like. It's completely shot. Hopefully with this new one, when I put it on, tighten everything up, it'll work perfect. A few moments later. I got everything greased up and now I'm ready to try and drop the tire on and try and get that beadlock ring to seat without ruining the o-ring and i won't even know until we put air in it well here we go we're gonna see if that o-ring actually sealed and see if that actually fixes it got the air right here let's see what happens it's on tightened up there's air in it and guess what good news it still leaks. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can see the Windex in there. Every one of these bolts is leaking. You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> but this Jeep is going in our local parade in about 20 minutes. So I got to get this thing loaded up and I get to carry another air hose and fill the tire up when it gets flat, like I've been doing for the last month. the parade and the rodeo and it was a riot we seen a couple people in our gear and it just made our whole day seriously so fun we've actually sold a lot more than we were anticipating on our website so thank you guys so much for all the support that you've given to us and the channel we hope that we were gonna get a bunch done today that was our goal we and did. It no happen. no the timeline here usually never works out my wheels still losing air like crazy our two-day rebuilds turning into two months <laughs> <laughs> and I only got about a fourth of the footings dug for the shop, so. But it's mostly about effort around here. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Guys, we're really trying to like come out with as much content as we can. And with you guys sharing this, liking this, subscribing, it helps so much. We're trying to do this full time just to bring you guys all the content we can. We all work full-time jobs on top of trying to do this as much as possible. This so, is seriously a weekend thing. It like, real, a weekend after work, as much as we, we don't really vacation, do anything fun. This is what we do 24 seven. So all the help and support means the world to us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peck Brothers Off-Road. Off -road.